In the realm of one-on-one -on -one combat, one must have strength. One must have power, determination. And if one does not have these abilities, they must pretend that they do. There is no room for failure, but sometimes there is. Fight your hardest, and if you fall, it was likely someone else's fault. It is important to ask yourself these simple questions. Do I have what it takes? Why are they so much bigger than me? Where is the exit? But most importantly, you must ask yourself, are you damn enough? A question. Oh, character. character. Dan Habiki is a man that will cry in triumph. Dan Habiki is a man that will steal your style, then claim that you took it from him. Most of all, Dan Habiki will cause you to ask the question, what the hell is he doing here? Born in Hong Kong and standing at five foot eight, weighing 163 pounds, Dan has average man stats. His curl is anything but average. Witness the curvature. Dan Habiki has a muscular frame purely for vanity's sake. He wears a bright pink gi for fashion and a form-fitting black t-shirt to show off his figure. Dan is a master of the role. His form of travel is tumble style. Dan likely learned this while observing a washing machine. Dan Habiki's fighting style is known as Saikyo Ru or strongest style. It is not the strongest style. Not by a long shot. Saikyo Ru is an anything goes type of art with no qualms towards style or plagiarism. For instance, the famous Hadoken is converted into Gadoken or Subway Fist, as in, I'll do it my way. Terrible. Saikyo Ru is all about you. It is the Saikyo Ru way as well. The Shoruken becomes the Koruken, or Clear Dragon Fist, or Clear Plane Ripoff. Similar to the aforementioned Gadoken, which is done with one hand instead of two, releasing a fireball barely going an inch past his fingers. Regardless, Saikyo Ru practitioners are to ignore the obvious limitations of their moves and instead lie to themselves and others that they are great. To add, crying is not looked down upon, but instead promoted. Are you Dan enough? To cry, cry, damn you, cry from winning due to technicality. Cry, it is the Psycho Ru way. Then roll on the floor. Teach your friends to do the same thing. Gloat, unleash your pride. Scream, damn you, scream. It is the Psycho Ru way, but not the way of anyone that has an ounce of respect for their character. Not in the least. In actuality, Dan Hibiki is a sad, sad man. Dan is incredibly skilled at failing. Dan aspires to be as strong as his father, Go Hibiki, was before he was tragically murdered by Sagat. And ironically, Dan matches his father's strength, not the strength of when his father was alive, but his current strength. Yes, Dan fights as good as a dead person, which ironically, Dan taunts that his zombie father would beat his opponents in a match. Dan Habiki has limitless shame. Dan set to create Saikyo Ru after the Sakat incident. Continuing the tradition of what some would call questionable martial arts, such as his father's eye gouge. But by Saikyo Ru rules, as long as it gets the job done, it's fair game. It is the Saikyo Ru way. Curiously, in a sort of reversal of logic, Dan is able to defeat his rivals, even Sagat. 
the killer of his father. Oddly enough, Dan's presence was so insignificant that when he reaches Sagat, he questions, do I know you? Then Sagat quickly recalls the memory of Go Habiki, mostly because of his illegal eye gouge, but also from Dan, who uses the Psycho Ru skill of making fun of opponents with disabilities. It is the Psycho Ru way. Dan shamelessly tears off his shirt, exposing bicep and man boob. He exclaims about how much he loves the word Yahoo way too much. Of course, since the core intent of Psycho Ru is to remain strong and oblivious, when Guy first witnesses Dan, he mocks that his moves are cute. Then Dan, showing that the Psycho Ru wit is as brutal as the Psycho Ru fist, comes back with what? Ever. And undoubtedly, retreat is always an option in the Psycho Ru Dojo, especially after you've found out that you've accidentally beat up a cop running and crying. It is the Psycho Ru way. Finally, Dan's super moves are as shocking as his win pose. He will perform the Shinku Gadoken, a pathetic reimagining of the Shinku Hadoken that will putt putt slowly through the air and probably miss its intended target. Dan will perform the Hishu Braiken, or the Certain Victory Independent Fist, also known as the Crying Tantrum. He will flail, cry, scream, scratch, probably bite. It is the Psycho Ru way. And through all of this, he just may hit his opponent once. The Crying Tantrum can also be easily broken because honestly, it's just a guy doing stuff in one place. And most of the time, his opponents get so fed up with his foolishness that they will give Dan noogies. And lastly, and certainly leastly, the Shotsu Shinwa, or mythical taunt, a truly awe-inspiring move, awe-inspiring because of its majestic stupidity. Dan will turn into a multi-Dan and attack with a taunt. The taunt will do nothing, but it is very annoying and easily defeated with a weak punch. Dan Habiki is similar to a sandwich with no meat. Dan Habiki is the bundle of hollow Christmas presents that decorate the tree of a fraudulent mall Santa. Dan Habiki is all fuss all must. On the other hand, being defeated by Dan will be the cause of utter confusion and bewilderment. And having him take over your secret drug base and turn it into his Psycho Ru Dojo is even more embarrassing. But somehow, some way, Dan is able to tumble into success because inadvertent victory is not only seen as luck, it is the Psycho Ru way. Quest with me, learn with us, enrich your mind, empower your anchor, like our material, subscribe to our page, put character into quest, return every Monday for more. A. Question. Question. Oh, character. character.